What is going on everybody? Welcome back to The Officer Show. Today we're looking at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time video game figures. So it's been quite a while since we've had any from Turtles in Time and it took us forever to get these figures, the Bebop and Rocksteady. We've been waiting on these forever but I assume with all like the shipping issues and stuff it has taken even longer but we finally got it. So both of these look cool where we got Pirate Bebop and Pirate Rocksteady so that's awesome. Of course coming straight out of the game they have that 16-bit design and everything so that is going to be awesome. And then we also have Baxter Stockman from the game so this we've had for quite a while, but we're waiting to do with these figures. But we finally had got it, so we can look at it now. So there's Baxter in his fly sort of form again with that 16-bit design on there. Looks pretty cool with all sorts of nice accessories and everything it looks like in there. So there's, of course, pictures from him on the back and stuff. So very cool from the Turtles in Time game. That's really awesome. I like these figures because you get weird, wacky stuff like the pirate version of Bebop for Rocksteady. So I'm excited to take a look at these. So let me get them out of the box. Of course, I have to heat them up because they're NECAs, and then we'll take a look at them together. Well, let's start off with Baxter Stockman. Of course, he's the mad scientist that got mutated into a fly. And we see from the Turtles in Time game that he is the first boss that you fight. So it looks pretty cool overall. He does look like Baxter Stockman. You know, does look like a guy relatively overall, but has the fly features. So he has that fly-like face with the eyes and the weird mouth and stuff. And then, of course, has the wings and the additional little hands here with, like, the claws for some reason. And then his hands and feet are all pink, just like the other little hands and the wings and stuff there on the back. So that much like a fly, but then also looks like a human. So he has, like, a shirt and pants, a little necktie on and stuff, and then the hair there of a human. So overall, pretty interesting with this look and everything, which looks pretty cool. And like I said, has like the 16-bit design, so like the little square and shading and stuff into it. Overall, I think it looks pretty cool. Now we will go ahead and bring in the cartoon version of Baxter Stockman, so you can see the difference. So this one definitely looks much more like a fly, but of course this is just going off the game details and stuff. But one thing that's interesting is the height difference. So of course with the cartoon ones, he's a short little guy, but where in the game one, he's a tall, like lanky, just a normal human that's been turned into a fly so he's got the normal height and stuff of a human so pretty interesting with that detail there but we'll go and look at the movement so the head can twist around there so twist all the way around and then can look up and then back straight on there up or down and stuff and then the mouth can move in there as well so while we're here might as well open the mouth a little bit so the mouth can open up like that showing the tongue and the one tooth there so pretty interesting for that but then if we want to look further down we can see the joint there so his head can look even further down there like that so you can have him sort of kind of like leaned over hunched over there which is pretty interesting with that neck but then we have the arms that can come up it's about 90 degrees a little bit there. of course it's like stiffened up from when we heat it up and rotate around within there as well we get the double elbow style joint piece so we have the joint at the top and the bottom so it can bend there and then bend at the lower joint as well so it can closely blend up on itself and then there is some rotation in those joints as well then we get the wrist that twists around and flex back and forth he's got the ab crunch and twist in the midsection so crunch a little forward and back there so just a little bit but can twist all the way around the hips can come up about 90 degrees out to the side that far a little bit of a thigh twist in there a double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist a little side to side and then we can go back to his back where he's got the additional hands so the hands can rotate around and of course are on the joints so we can swing back and forth along with the wings as well so they can swing back and forth and then rotate around to wherever you want them so not a bad figure overall with the joints and stuff but I do like the shorter and smaller version of Baxter much more than this tall linky version and then we also get a set of hands with like trigger fingers or grip hands and stuff so these we will need to use for his weapons and speaking of weapons first off we get a gun here so we get like this little uzi style gun and i like it, you know it looks sort of futuristic and everything for baxter but does also look like an uzi and everything so that's pretty cool so let's put it in one hand so there's the uzi in that hand and then we also get like a revolver gun so the short little like snub nose revolver and everything looks pretty cool as well once again so let's put this in the other hand so there we've got baxter with both the guns and i know in the game he uses guns and stuff not sure which one exactly or if it really matters but he does have that and now this pack also comes with some other accessories so first off we get one of the neca flight stands but we have this as well that we can try to put him in so there we can have Baxter up on the flight stand but again with him being the bigger character and stuff it's hard and more weight everything to put on it so probably won't work out too well but then we also get an effect for his gun so we have this effect with like this hand pee like lightning piece sort of shoot now I feel we got an effect like this before but it looked a little bit different but pretty nice design overall with the white design and then like the yellow details on it and stuff so it's just like this big hand piece that he can shoot out of his gun now to get this to work we do also have this little like clear stand piece for it so it's just this clear stand with the little piece there that you can slide it in and then, then slide it up wherever you need to and then with this you just have to like sort of line it up with his gun to sort of like stick it in the end of it so it's like he's shooting it out of the gun so not easy to get set up but there's about what you can do so I back to there who's barely floating off the stand now to get him low enough to be able to do this but you can have the hand shooting out of the gun there and then it's just braced on like this clear stand as you can see there so you can have him like shooting it out towards the turtle so having this thing all together is not easy to do and get it set up with the 
hand, I think it's just maybe way too big for this and like too much weight. It's hard to, you know, get it to hold up and line up with the guns and everything. So not the easiest thing to do at all, but it's cool that they made the Baxter, you know, since he is in the game and stuff and they've already made Baxters before and all that. So it's cool that they did make one for this, but just having with this big hand and the guns and stuff does not work out. So for me, I'll definitely just be keeping him just with the guns itself. And then I don't like the Nekka's flight stands at all. So may not even use those because I don't like the way they look too well or work or anything. Not very good overall, but just very interesting. And like I said, I do like though that they did make a Baxter Stockman. And then we've got Bebop from the two pack where he's pirate Bebop here. So it looks pretty interesting. All just sort of dressed up like a pirate. But Bebop and Rocksteady were exclusive to the Super NES version of the game. And they were the boss of level six skull and crossbone. So it's like a pirate theme thing. So that's why they look like pirates. So overall looks pretty cool. You know, it does have the base body of Bebop. So it has like that warthog sort of design. So it has the nose, the tusks and the ring and like that and everything. It has the little glasses there. Once again, the little ears of the pig and then the brown body to match. Still has the necklace on like he had before. Some like turtle shell armor there up on his arms and then some chains on his wrists and stuff. And you'd see more of that skin down under there. But everything else looks like pirate. So it has like the black pirate shoes, some cut off style pants, the red and white striped shirt and then still has the Bebop sort of vest over the top of it. But it's in like a pink color this time. But again, all has that cell shading and everything on it. So pretty interesting. Oh, and he has the little like skull cap piece there as well. So pretty interesting overall for the pirate design. Something I don't really care too much for. I would much rather just have Bebop and Rocksteady just with the 16-bit design and stuff. But they went with the pirates since that's how they appeared in the game. And just so you see the difference, here is the original, of course, cartoon version of Bebop. So you can see they just took that body and sort of redid it and bad the clothes and stuff to it and everything to make this new version. But for Bebop's movements, we can get his head to twist a little there side to side. And then their neck joints are pretty cool, so it can look up about that far. And then if you want to look down, you can kind of like force it down a little bit and he can look down that far as well. So you can see like some of the neck joint here, just how much of it is exposed and everything. So that's interesting. And then we have the mouth that can open. Again, the figures have stiffened up since being heated up and everything. The joints were all loose and nice and stuff, but the mouth can open up there. And then we do also have the sunglasses that can lift up and move around and they're just sort of pegged into the side of the head by like how he has this little tiny black eyes there. But the shoulders can come up under 90 degrees there again with the shoulder armor and stuff hard to get in the way, but it can rotate around within there as well. We get a bicep twist, a double elbow joint that again, like everything else, has stiffened back up. It can bend up that far. Wrist twist around and flex back and forth. Ab crunch and twist at the waist. So crunch forward, crunch back, just very little. You can see it's just shaking there, but can twist around at the waist as well. Hips up close to 90 out to the side a little bit, you know, doing splits. A little bit of a thigh twist in there as well. A double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back. And the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side. So it's not too bad, but it really stinks that they've sort of like kind of cooled down or whatever now. And now it's hard to get some of the joints to move because I had them moving pretty easily on all these figures. And now they're sort of tightening up and everything. So that sort of stinks, but that's just what happens with NECA and stuff. So you just got to heat them up, get them in a pose, I guess, and then let them cool back down. But overall, pretty interesting look, like I said, with the pirate version of Bebop. Not my favorite look, but we, of course, get some accessories with them. So first off, we get a set of hands. So just some open, like, reaching hands. And then we get a set of grip hands. So we have the grips in there. So we can switch these out to use weapons. And for his weapon, he has a whip. So that's what he had in the game. So he has this whip design. It's a nice little black handle piece with some yellow on it. And then the actual whip going to those, like, little thread pieces there at the end of that whip. So we can actually switch his hands out with one of the grips and then put this in. So there is Bebop with the whip and of course I don't know how to get the whip to pose so it kind of you know actually looks like a whip and everything but there we've got that and I think overall that's pretty cool. And then of course we have his counterpart of Rocksteady so we have them both here in their pirate version. So let's look at Rocksteady now. So Rocksteady is going to be exactly like Bebop like I said from the same level of the game where they were both like the bosses but they're in the pirate form so he looks more like the captain of the pirate ship just with the outfit although he looks more like a French boat captain or something just with design since he has the nice jacket on with the shoulder pieces you know all in gold and everything and then he has the pirate like hat on it and then like instead of like a skull and crossbones or something he's got the foot logo on there so that's pretty interesting and then he has a, like a little collar piece around his neck he got the little vest piece on so he's all dressed up with sort of like tails and stuff so that's pretty interesting some brown pants and then his normal shoes but in black this time so pretty interesting look and then of course he's the mutant rhino so he looks like a rhino and everything but instead of like the gray skin he's got more of like this purplish color skin so that's pretty interesting but still has like the rhino horns and teeth and snout and everything in there so pretty interesting look so you can see his purple hands there as well well. So for a moment, the head there is going to be just like Bebop, so it can look up just pretty much straight on. And then again, if you kind of like pull it down and stuff where you can expose more of the neck there, you can look down more. And then as you already shown, you can open the mouth in there. And of course, he can look side to side. The shoulders, again, real stiff on this one, can come up just under over 45 at least. Rotate around within there. We have a bicep twist, a double elbow joint that can bend up that far. And the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. 
I have crunch and twist in the middle once again, so again, very little crunching in there, but can twist around side to side. Hips up 90 out to the side a little bit. Again, pretty stiff in the legs there. A little bit of a thigh twist, a double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back. Shin twist at the top of the boot, and the foot flexes back and forth and twist side to side. So overall, not too bad again, but he's stiffening up, so it's hard to get a lot of these movements and everything, which really stinks that they do that. And then again, to show you comparisons, here is the cartoon version of Rocksteady. So you can see, you know, overall has the exact same design, just repeat painted and then put into the pirate outfit instead of this older one so definitely like the older one much more especially for this and just like for bebop we get an additional set of hands so here he has the hands there in the purple the open like reaching hands as well as a set of grip hands once again so you can see the grips in there and we can use these to go with his weapon which is a fencing foil so just like a little fencing sword sort of thing here so it looks pretty nice and everything overall so let's go and put a hand in with this so there i got pirate rock steady with the sword so that overall looks pretty decent you know it does look much more like a french navy person so pretty interesting that they went with that look for a pirate and everything so pretty cool there and then of course we can bring in bebop and stuff so we have bebop and rock city both there together in their pirate outfits and with having both the henchmen here we can bring in the game version of shredder so we can have shredder there with bebop and rock steady as it should be all in their game versions from the turtles in time game well there we've got our three NECA teenage mutant ninja turtles turtles in time figures of the pirate versions of bebop and rock steady as well as the baxter stockman so all three are pretty cool figures you know not necessarily things I would highly recommend or anything. Just if you have the game version of the Turtles, obviously these will help fill out that collection. But overall, they're not bad figures. They're just like your normal NECAs. So if you like NECAs in general, you'll like these figures once again. But let me know what you thought of them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my review, let me know with a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review. Bye.